Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, I'm Alan Cloud Crypto. Today we're going to talk about the secret network. Um, so let's get right into it. The secret network is a um, crypto project that was developed originally as Enigma, which um, aims to create scalable privacy solutions for every blockchain. Um, but what they created was their own blockchain, and that blockchain was the secret network. So you can think about Enigma like... Um, as Emergo, or Cardano, or as Consensus for Ethereum, right? They are the parent company that um, does a lot of the development. Okay, so what is the secret network? Well, the secret network is um, aiming to build a more decentralized internet with privacy in mind. So how do they do that? How are they solving for privacy? Well, the secret network is the first blockchain with privacy preserving smart contracts that means applications built on secret can utilize encrypted data without revealing it to anyone even the nodes in the network for the first time secret network allows developers to build powerful permissionless privacy preserving applications secret apps blockchains are public by default that means that all data used in smart contracts is exposed to everyone for blockchain technology to achieve global adoption Users and organizers need to control over how their data is used. They can't just expose it to everyone. Secret Network solves the problem of privacy, helping to secure and scale the de decentralized web. So there's a lot of privacy development, and usually these are just um, individual technologies that kind of have work as an add-on. So there's Mimblewimble for Litecoin, or there's um, Zero Proof, rollups that um, have privacy elements to them so they um, allow for you to have privacy in them but they aren't purely um, it's just one part of the puzzle right we need um, a whole blockchain specifically for privacy and not only is this a privacy blockchain but this is a smart contract platform so as you're going to see in a moment it actually is ex extremely practical and useful um, so simply put, the secret network brings privacy to public, public blockchains. Essentially, the secret contracts enable anyone to use their private data in decentralized applications without revealing the raw data. Data being used in computation throughout secret network simply cannot be public. So um, this is an absolute revolution. The, the biggest concerns with um, the web 1.0 is the fact that it's just a monopoly of public companies. So if you think about Facebook, fa Facebook harvests your data and they will use that to exploit you to no end, whether that's through targeting you for ads or through um, manipulating you to get you to view more of their content. Whatever they're doing, it's probably not in your best interest, right? They have no obligation to serve your interests. If they wanted to, they could act maliciously and they could use your data to target you with false information or to um, expose you. Um, there's a lot of points of failure, right? There's so much that could be manipulated with your data. Um, and so what this is looking to do is to give you back your power, right? The, de the decentralized web is what the original founders of the internet were intending, which was for this big um, private network where information is um, stored privately and everyone interacts only like um, ships in the night, right? You reveal as little information about yourself as possible in order to maintain absolute privacy. So that's what this is aiming for. This is looking at the secret network. So as we can see, it's a part of the Cosmos SDK and it's built on Ethereum. There is a community fund, there's community communities, there's wallets and exchanges, there's node operators, dev and block explorers and contributors and builders. So there's quite um, a few. Um, there's Enigma. For the contributors and builders, there's Enigma. There's the Citadel. And then there's Ocean. There's a lot. So, OK. So moving on, what we're going to do is this is Tori from Enigma, who now uh, works for Secret. So he's going to describe his the purpose of Secret. Right, it's a fully independent blockchain. Secret is used uh, for for staking and governance and fees in the network. I mean, it's 
it, it's a complete vision for what a blockchain with privacy by design would look like. And it's the first blockchain of its kind that allows smart contracts to use private and sensitive inputs uh, and outputs and encrypted state. So all of this now in one blockchain that also can interoperate with other blockchains and other ecosystems like Cosmos, like Ethereum. Mm -hmm. So the vision has really expanded. And the most important thing to sort of remember with Secret Network versus Enigma is Enigma, the company, is just one of the many developers, node operators, you know, community members for Secret Network. Now we have dozens of entities in the Secret Network ecosystem that run mainnet validators, that build applications for the network, that build wallets, block explorers, that interact with the network, participate in governance. Yeah. So it, it's a really, really, so, really... Yeah, I think that's great. Um, bringing... There's a clear... There's a distinct lack of privacy-enabled smart contract platforms. And so... This, in my opinion, is solving a really big problem. And yeah, the secret network is the first layer one blockchain to enable general purpose private comp uh, compilation across a distributed system of nodes equipped with secure enclaves. The, for the first time, developers will be able to build and deploy secret smart contracts that can utilize encrypted inputs and outputs. So yeah, I mean, programmable privacy is extremely important, right? They're they're serving a really important purpose. I I can't express how necessary that this will be for the network. Um, some things, uh, some reasons why we need privacy is to evade oppressive governments, to um, free ourselves from capital controls. You know, it's you have all these geolocation um, hindrances, right? If you, if if your country is obligated by your government to like perform KYC and then you can't you lose your access to financial freedom because of that well privacy could enable you to um, access that financial freedom regardless so this is looking at the secret ethereum bridge which just went live um, this means that there you can take your ethereum so ERC 20 smart contracts um, anything, and you can bridge it on over to the secret blockchain. Um, so this uh, just made the price go up quite a bit just in the last week. Um, there's a lot more announcements, but this is probably the biggest one. So let's just look at some of the featured um, announcements from the official blog. So the secret Ethereum bridge is live on the mainnet. The secret privacy tokens are live. Staking. So staking uh, with secret. So this just came out. Now you can help secure the network. Um, yep, all this is good. So this is looking at analytics. If you go to, I believe, secretanalytics.xyz, you can see that the network is very active. Um, daily transactions is actually increasing. The daily gas usage is increasing very quickly this means that people are starting to utilize this blockchain this is the supply on binance we can see that um is a steady decrease okay this is looking at the price of secret on yeah over all time there is quite a bit of price discovery going on just uh just recently so this looks really good to me um it there's 56 million of 120 million in supply so there's quite a bit of inflation to go however most of that inflation is just going to um, rewards to node operators so it's about 15 percent uh, inflation and it is possible to stake your secret um, to the network so this is looking at secret oracles connecting web 2.0 to web 3.0 with privacy so one of the things we've been discussing that uh, would likely have a lot of impact is reusing the secret network infrastructure to provide secret oracle functionality to both secret network and potentially other networks as well. So all these traditional products that already exist could have a secret counterpart, right? A privacy enabled counterpart to their um, web 2.0 or their original counterparts. So if you think about all the different products, you know, exchanges, um, trading, or I don't know, oracles and all these other things, they can all have added privacy to them. 
so the network um the secret network only has 50 million locked up in value so once oracles and everything else starts onboarding starts going over the ethereum bridge you know the total value locked could be hundreds of million um so let's read this while there are um there has been some progress private solutions on DeFi today haven't gone far enough so many potential solutions have emerged in recent years such as zero knowledge proofs uh, ring signatures mimblewimble coin mixers etc illustrating how crucial solving the transparent uh, transactional privacy problem is for blockchain so people are trying to make solutions however this is an all-encompassing solution right just having a whole blockchain um monorail uh Monero, I don't know how to pronounce that, XMR is also a blockchain specifically designed for privacy, but this one has smart contracts enabled, so it's solving an even bigger problem, in my opinion. Oh, and this is also looking at the network effects for privacy in DeFi. So um, it's not just enough to have Mimblewimble or um, just zero knowledge proofs. Uh, the more we can add, the more privacy you can add, the more secure it is. So each component adds to greater privacy. You know, it's just one building block and you want to incorporate as many different privacy enabled building blocks as you can to maintain the highest uh, effect, you know, effectiveness. Okay. So the flexible encryption capabilities and controls offered by pr programmable privacy unlock the potential value of the decentralized web. So this is enabling the decentralized web, web to take off. So um, it's just the beginning, right? This is just like the very start of the internet when you can think about all the early networks. Like the early days of the internet were so like scarce. You know, it was just like very limited in development. There's not much you can do. But going forward, as these networks come out, the decentralized web is going to become a huge expansion to our traditional web. This is looking at the Citadel network, so you can stake to secret network. However, it's pretty much in progress, and um, there's definitely a lot of development to go before it's fully enabled. Okay, that's it. That's the end of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something. Um, yeah, I'll see you around next time, alright?